Jake Auchincloss, the Democratic candidate in the 4th Congressional, who has had a big lead uh, throughout the night over Julie Hall, is coming out to the microphone now to uh, give a speech. Let's listen. I am honored and grateful that the voters of the Massachusetts 4th have elected me to represent them in Congress. Tonight's not about me, though. Tonight's about this country's opportunity to rebuild after four years of an administration that has left us weaker, sicker, poorer, and more divided than any time since the Civil War. Together, we can chart a course of renewal. We can put science in the driver's seat to beat back COVID. We can fight climate change and transition to a clean energy economy. We can protect women's reproductive rights. We can stand up for racial justice. And we can keep weapons of war off our streets and away from our schools. I'm going to be a member of Congress who brings people together north and south of this district and in Washington, D.C. to deliver on these progressive priorities. Happy to take any questions. Mr. Auchincloss, your opponent has just said in the last few minutes that they are not going to concede tonight that she is not a quitter. What do you say to something like that? The results speak for themselves. Have you spoken to Paul or any of the campaign staff tonight? No, I'm going to allow uh, Ms. Hall to make the phone call and make uh, her decision in her own time. What message do you have for the people who did not vote for you today? Well, I'm going to represent the whole district of the Massachusetts 4th. Uh, I'm proud of the campaign that we've had, speaking to voters north and south, and that voters everywhere in this district can count on me to represent their values and priorities in Congress. What is the what very first the priority issue in this election? I'm sorry? What do you think was the main issue in this election? COVID. I think that we need to put science in the driver's seat and we need to listen to public health experts so that we can safely reopen our schools and kickstart the economy. Do you feel like people were not satisfied with the response to COVID? Well, nearly a quarter million Americans have died. Our economy is cratered and our schools are shuttered because of the gross incompetence of the Trump administration. They have ignored public health experts. It's time for us to uh, put science back in the driver's seat and so that we can safely reopen this economy and so we can our kids have the education they deserve. What does it tell you, sir, that when you look at the, of course, the results aren't in, they may not be in tonight, they may not be in by the end of the week, but Mr. Trump is doing so well. I remain confident and hopeful that we're going to have a uh, Biden-Harris administration. I think that uh, we are going to see that this country wants to move forward and build back better after four years of division and discord. It appears the House will with the Democrats. Is that what you're hearing as well? Uh, that's my expectation. I haven't looked at the results, but my expectation is the House will remain a Democratic majority. How does that affect um, what you plan to do when you get down on it? Well, I think Democrats should have a bold and progressive agenda. We need to fight climate change and transition to a clean energy economy. We've got to stand up for racial justice. We need to uh, beat back COVID so that we can kickstart the economy again. Uh, we need to protect women's reproductive rights. These are issues that uh, the voters of the Massachusetts 4th District expect me to be a fighter on, and they will see that I will be someone who delivers on those progressive priorities. We're listening to Jake Auchincloss okay, coming out to declare victory in the 4th Congressional. We can show you the numbers and show you the reason why he's declaring victory. Big lead right now over the Republican Julie Hall. Uh, but interestingly enough, Lisa, uh, the Republican Julie Hall saying that she will not concede at this point.